be perfect. The main thing is I want to make sure that you always have your level, your settings on low. You're not going to be needing more than a one or a two unless you're going to be using the pulsation. And, and when we do the pulsation, we can kick it up a notch, maybe to about a five or six. So I'm going to take a couple of minutes to get people to kind of come on board here and talk about the props that you're going to be needing. In restorative practice, as I said, it's a little different than any other practice because in this practice, the restorative practice, this is about the art of relaxation. And we want to develop the skill of self-soothing ourselves. So we prop up quite a bit when we're in our poses, our asanas. So what does that mean? You're going to need at least maybe two really big pillows. These are couch pillows. You can have pillows, um, bed pillows, but they're kind of firm. So I want to make sure you have at least two of those. Um, you can use bath towels and you can also use um, yoga blankets, these striped blankets. And last but not least, yoga blocks. Now, if you don't have yoga blocks, I'd say it all the time, you know, invest not in them. If you're going to be practicing yoga on the, on the platforms, this is a great prop. If you don't have it, no worries. You can use paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls, but the yoga blocks are sturdy. They're big and they're not very expensive. So I would highly recommend them. Okay. Where do we begin? We begin where we're at. I'm going to suggest that if you're tuning in for the first time that you can join me in all the poses as long as you have the props. Um, also, I'm going to be teaching today one, five poses, five yoga poses, and I will go through them. Now, in the restorative practice, these poses are generally held anywhere between five to 20 minutes. However, because we're on the platform, we're not going to hold anything 20 minutes. And because of we're doing this class today and I have the five poses for you, I'm going to suggest that we hold them about three minutes. But now you can keep going back into the video. And if there's one you like, and again, I'm going to show you five of them, know that you can hold being in that pose propped up for up to 10 minutes. So I see everyone's checking in now. I've got some people at the Rumlux Pros. That's awesome. You've got the mini waiver. That's great. We're just going to get, we're going to work with what you have. Um, so a little bit about me. I am a, a yoga teacher uh, as well as a Pilates teacher and a fitness trainer. I understand about active aging bodies and that's why I love my Life Pro platforms. Um, just the benefits. I know that the, those of you that have been using them, you already know the benefits. But you, the, when we put the yoga into the platform, it's a whole, it's a game changer. Now, um, what the, the platform, with the energy that comes from the platform, it's going to really help to enable this deep relaxation of holding the poses a little bit longer. At any time you're not comfortable with it, just come out of it. But the more propping you can have, the better. And I see a hello from Ohio. I'm from uh, actually from Ohio. I'm here right now in Scottsdale, Arizona. So welcome, welcome. Okay, our first pose is going to be child's pose. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show a seated version of child's pose for those of you that can't get on the floor. But there's also going to be a, a floor version. And again, have your props handy. You want to have two pillows. You want to have at least two blankets or two large towels, and I want you to have yoga blocks. And right now, I'm going to be seated in our first pose. So it's, I've got my chair here. Now, this is about a two-foot chair. We're going to put our platform, I'm going to do this one in the oscillation mode. So everyone with waivers and hovers, this is going to be perfect for us. So let's set it up. Let's go ahead and let's put our machine on. And starting your one speed, and let's start propping ourselves. Now, the first thing you want to do is grab your two pillows and your blanket. And what we'll do is we'll sit on the chair. I'm going to have your feet as wide as you can get them. And you're going to put those pillows, stack one on top of the other. Now, depending on your back, and this, what, uh, some of the benefits of child's pose are going to be releasing the lower back and relaxing the shoulders. 
it's going to help really instill a sense of calmness. So you'll take a nice deep breath in. And then on the exhale, I'm just going to have you take your arms over one at a time and let your head drop. Now, I'm going to be talking a lot, so I'm turning my head to talk to you, but get into your pose and relax. So how do you relax? You breathe. You take nice big breaths in through your nose and open your mouth and sigh it out. You start feeling your feet. You start feeling your arms. You can shake your head yes or no. And if you find that your head dangling is a little too much, cross your forearms and make a little pillow with your hands on the pillows and the side of your head. You see, I've turned my head to one side. And we're going to hang out here for just about 30 seconds or 45 seconds with our head in one direction, and then I'll have you pick it up and take it to the other direction. So as we're sitting here breathing, and we're allowing the energy to come up our feet, you can feel it in your hips. You can feel it in your shoulders, and you may even feel it gently stretching your neck. And just create that relaxation quality with the breath. Hear your breath. Hear the HI. Close the eyes. Soften the jaw. Relax the shoulders. And feel your back of your body breathing. Feel the back of the ribs. And this should feel very good for you. Now, the other option, you can take your hand, your head and turn it and let your forehead rest on the back of your hands. I don't want to do that because I want you to hear me. I know I don't, I don't want to muffle out here, but you can take your forehead on the back of your hands. Now, those of you that have your head turned one way, go ahead and pick it up and turn your head the other direction. Now, I'm not going to do that because I want you to hear me, but here's what's going to happen. The, the most important part of this posture is all about you being here and breathing. And I'll say this over and over again. Feel the bones, hear the breath, and allow your body to calm down with the breath. This, this pose called child's pose, Balasana, is a very good pose to help you bring focus. You come within. And then you just allow the magic of the platform to do its thing. We'll come into this three more breaths here, inhaling through the nose, sighing out the mouth, <sighs> hear it, feel it, notice how the shoulders can just relax a bit more. Another deep breath in, the long breath out, <sighs> and as you're ready, Bring your hands up onto your pillow and round your spine. And we'll do a little bit of a counter pose. I like to counter pose these with extension. Interlace your hands behind your head and you're gonna look up to the ceiling. Elbows come in and open up and we're just gonna take that flexion in the lumbar spine and go into extension here. And release. So that's gonna be a posture for anyone to do who can't get on the floor. Now, I'm going to show that same pose, child's pose, coming on the floor. So you remove your chair, and I'm going to have these pillows on the floor. Now, you, if you have some issues in your knees and you can't bend the knees as much as I am doing, take a blanket or your towel, wrap it up, and I'm going to place it behind my knees, right behind the knee joint. And that, that will actually create space between the tibia and the femur bone. It opens it up. It's just amazing what happens here. And make sure you're close enough. And we're going to take those pillows again and prop ourselves up. Take a big stretch. Inhale. And on the exhale, let's just bring the head and the arms over on the platform. If this becomes too much for you, again, I'm picking my head up, but I want you to bring your head down. Cross your forearms and let your chest rest into the pillow and just gently let your chin or your forehead rest out. So I'm going to take this posture for a moment without saying anything. If you find you need more pillowing, you can grab another of your towels or blankets, and I suggested two, 
and just kind of prop yourself up that you can come up over more. So whatever works for you, just the most important thing is this should feel comfortable. You should adjust yourself. I find in classes, I, I really suggest you wiggle a little bit. Wiggle, and obviously the platforms will you, but wiggle your body that isn't on the platform so you can kind of get in a, a sync with that. And then you're welcome to turn your head to one side or the other side or center and let the platform do its magic. So this is our version of kneeling down child's pose. My knees are wide, they're very wide. And finally, the last option, and, and I give a lot of options because not every pose fits every body. The next option is to actually, I'm gonna prop up my blanket or a lot so my forehead could rest on it and my arms are gonna relax down. So this is a lot of vibration into the forehead and neck. That's why I'm only on a level one here. If it's too much, bring it on your chest and let your chest hang over. And then see my arms are behind and I'm just letting my neck and shoulders rest. The most important thing again is the breath. So those are your options for child's pose. Take it any time. Take it when your back is tight. When you feel a little stressed out, your shoulders are kind of nibbling on your ears, just something that you can really let go. And now we're going to come into our second pose. And this second pose is a, is a twist. And we're going to all be laying down on this. So here's how we'll prop them. And it's the funny thing about a restorative practice. The propping takes almost as long as coming into the posture. So that's why you don't do many of them. So what I'm going to do is... Have both of the pillows on to my one side. So this is my left side. I'm putting both of the pillows here. Now, in this particular posture, if you're on the rumblex, that you can go into lateral shifting. I want to suggest lateral. Okay, that way um, it's a little different sensation. But again, oscillation is perfect, guys. I want you to know this. This is the beauty of our. Um, of our platforms because it works with everything we're doing. Now my speed in this lateral, I'm gonna go about a two, okay? That's about it. Doesn't need to be really more than that. You can always add a little bit more, but start where you're at slowly. Now here's how we're gonna prop this. Um, I'm gonna take the blanket and I'm actually gonna put it over the round, the edge of the platform. That just gives a little more softness to the to uh, the platform so I don't feel any edges. I'm gonna have a yoga block handy, and I'm gonna keep my extra blanket handy just in case. We're gonna lay on our back, so scoot over, and the, the uh, pillows are quite close by. You're gonna lay down in what we call a supine position. We're gonna relax here for a second, just let both legs lay over. We're going to work this twist where the right knee will come up and you can hold behind your thigh. Relax the shoulders. Get the squeeze. We're compressing into the joint capsule. And again, I want to be close. So I'm going to scoot in a little closer so I can feel my leg on the platform. And then take your left hand and start rotating over. Now you might be pretty tight here. So use your breath and maybe three to four times or to exhale Twist over, inhale, come back, and then do it again. And maybe one more time. Now, if you find you're still hanging, you can see there's space between my knee and the pillow. What I'll do is I'll take a block underneath my pillows to prop it up, and now my leg just naturally hangs here. Now the leg that's on the platform, I'm going to bend the knee, so I'm going to zigzag on my left knee and my right knee. Arms reach up to the sky, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, let the arms stretch out. Lastly, turn your head either to the left or to the right. I'm going to turn my head to the left so you, I, you can hear me talking. But you find this, the direction that feels right for you. 
So the beauty of our, our reclining supported twisting posture is that we're working in digestion series. We're working on the ascending colon here, compressing. Your hand can rest to give you a little bit more twist, not cranking on it, but just feeling a little bit more pressure into the twist. And now we come back to those beautiful big breaths in through your nose and out through a relaxed jaw. Because of this twisting pose, we'll do three minutes on each side. When you're practicing this on your own later on, you can come up to about five minutes on each side. That's perfectly fine. But everything should feel very comfortable. You can see right now my knee is higher than my hip crease. If it's not, if it's too much for you, bring your foot down and maybe you put your foot on your knee that's on the platform. It's still a twist, maybe not quite as intense. And you'll actually feel both legs be, being uh, moved, being uh, vibrated. Working on compressing into the right side of the body, again, the ascending colon. This is a great, great posture if you're feeling, feeling um, a little nervous stomach, maybe uh, uncomfortable after, after you've had a, a large dinner or whatever, you're, whatever things you're dealing with. This is a very healing posture for you because we're going to open that hip up and let the blood flow come in. Take a few more nice, long, cleansing breaths out through the mouth. <sighs> let everything go. Notice your jaw, wiggle your fingers, make sure you're not holding any tension in your fingers. You can wiggle your toes. Then we'll prepare to come out of this pose by simply grabbing onto that right knee and hugging it into the chest one more time. And then place the right foot on the platform, adjust your body so you're long. I'm going to move the pillow so you can see me a bit better. And then we're going to let that right foot press against the left inner calf and that hip opens up. And now we're opening up all that compression in the hip and allowing the blood flow to move through. And we won't stay here very long, just enough time to open things up. Feeling the breath from the belly and the ribs all the way to the heart and emptying out the belly, the ribs and the heart softening. <sighs> Let's go ahead and move to the other side. So come up to the side. We have to come up slowly. Bring yourself up. The head is the last thing to come up. You never want to come up quickly here. And we're going to take our pillows to the other side. Now I know, I can already tell you that I know that I'm going to need to prop myself up. That side tends to be higher, um, tighter for me. So we'll get in position here. Help the blankets over the edge of the rumblex. How's my time doing here? I think I'm pretty good on time. I'm going to scoop down. I'm going to take this yoga block, or if you have your toilet paper roll, paper towel roll, I'm going to put it underneath my blankets so it's propped up. Extending the right leg over the platform, hug the left knee and give it a nice gentle squeeze, compressing into that hip. And breathe. Now we'll take the knee and we'll just start moving the hip, lifting the hip up off the floor, bringing it back. Exhale while you do this. Compressing into the left side. This is the descending colon. We're really squishing those organs of digestion here. Now, maybe this third or fourth time, we're going to see how the knee lands. Now, I'm going to make an adjustment. So I'm going to lift my hips and scoop my hips over to the left and pull those props in. And now my knee hangs. And that feels pretty good for my, my hip. It's a nice little stretch in the lower back as well. You'll feel that lower back area stretch. Reach the arms up. Shoulders are anchored down. Take a deep breath in. And then open up those arms in a comfortable place. I like the palms up because it really opens up the chest. Now, lastly, you can take the leg that's on the platform and just bend the knee so that that energy 
goes from your feet to your knees to your thigh, up into the right hip. And now you can turn your head. Maybe this time you'll turn it to the right to stretch the left side out. I'm going to keep my head up so I can, uh, so you guys can hear me. And you play around with the, the left knee. The right hand can grab behind the knee joint and give it a nice, gentle hold. You can take that right knee and move it a little bit up and down and find a spot that works. And now my right, my left foot is going to go on my right knee. And now that energy is coming up from the right foot to the knee, to the left foot, to the left knee. And I'm getting a little bit more sensation, a little bit more energy all the way up to my left groin area, my left hip. And now here's where our breath comes in. Remember, we're, we're cultivating the sensation of relaxation. Hopefully you'll, you'll practice this with some really calming music in the background. Feel the corners of your mouth lifting up. This should feel really good that you want to have a, a nice gentle smile on your face. Breathing in and sighing out. The sigh creates a vibration in your heart area and your heart loves, the, loves that vibration. So you have at least, you can do this posture at least three to five minutes. For the sake of our, our recording, we're going to only do about a minute and a half. Feeling the compression, feeling the vibration, hearing and feeling the breath. Now we unwind out of this pose the same way we got into it. We'll start picking up the left knee as we straighten the right leg. Left foot out of the platform, adjust your pelvis. Hug the left knee in for a moment, and then take the knee out to the side. My left foot is inside my right thigh. And I'm going to open up into the left hip, and this should feel really nice. You should feel a nice release. Again, restorative poses when not on a vibration platform can be held up to 20 minutes, but I think five minutes on each side for this particular pose is perfect, and perfect timing because my platform just shut off. Now, we'll come out of this posture by hugging both knees in. You're going to rock a bit side to side into the lower back. Tuck the chin. If the chin pops up and what tends to, let your eyes gaze over your knees and slowly roll over to your side. Bring your hand in front of your chest and roll up. Take your time because we put a lot of blood flow back here. So that should feel really yummy. Now, our next posture is called Supta Baddha Konasana. That's a lot of words for it's a supported back bend. And this is going to, this posture particularly is going to help in stretching out the inner thighs. Now, we just compressed them and we did a little bit of opening up the, the thighs. But this, this posture will open up your heart and increase circulation. So I'm going to suggest we go in oscillation mode. So let's go ahead and adjust the platform. We're in the oscillation mode. Speed is only going to be about a one. I, I don't want to go much more than that. And here's what's going to happen. We're going to take one of our pillows and put it, I'm going to make it in a uh, diagonal, and I'm going to put my pillow there. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to put it regular. And I'm going to have a, a block handy because my head's going to rest on this. Let's see. Oops, I'm going to grab this. Two toilet paper rolls, okay? This will come in handy. So if you don't have toilet paper rolls handy, you can take your two blankets. And I'm, again, I'm giving you a lot of ideas, guys. I'm going to take my blankets and I'm going to make them into squares. So they're, they're ready on each side. And I'm going to take the other pillows. So what's going to happen here is I'm basically... I'm going to scoot up against my platform as much as I can. My feet are together. 
I'm going to pull my hair back here so you can see me. And we're going to slowly support the head as we come back. Now, I told you I'm going to have my yoga block handy because I want to take, I want to make sure my head is supported. I don't want your head to fall back like this. I don't want your chin up. I want you to support your head. So you might have a paper towel roll or a toilet paper roll. And then we're going to fan the knees out and in a couple times. The main thing is I want you to feel the vibration of the platform on your back and shoulders. Now, here's where our blankets come in. You're going to put the blankets right at the hips. And this is going to support your knees opened up. Or you can take toilet paper rolls. So if you don't have extra blankets, you're going to take your toilet paper rolls. And that's just going to support my hips. Isn't it crazy how you're using toilet paper rolls these days? Now, lastly, arms reach up and you're opening up. So this is our bound angle pose. You can see my feet are, my legs are in a diamond shape. My arms are out. And the oscillation, the up and down movement of the platform is allowing my shoulders and my chest to just open up. This is a great heart, um, posture for the heart to create circulation into the heart area. It's a great relaxation pose to create opening into all the organs of digestion, the organs of reproduction and elimination. And of course, it stretches out the inner thighs. It took a little bit of time to get into the posture, but you can see it's worth, or you can feel it's worth all the effort because we allow the back to release. And if you have any back issues in your tissues, if you hunch over a computer or you stand a lot, this is a great way to get your extension in your lumbar spine and you can feel just that gentle uh, oscillation to release and relax all those muscles. Now this is a posture I would recommend staying for at least 10 minutes. It is delicious. And, and you know that you've arrived in this posture like all the other postures because you check your breath. You take a deep breath in. Feel your heart lifting and then sigh it out. I don't know if you can notice, but I've been smiling through all these poses because they feel awesome. Slow breath in, long breath out. Now, I have found in restorative yoga classes that sometimes people do fall asleep. And that I know they're successfully in their posture that they are asleep. So if this happens to you, your machine will shut off and you can just stay there for another 10 minutes and that's fine. But again, it's a level one or two. You know, one little tidbit that I wanted to share that I see a lot in the on the Facebook post for Life Pro about you know, I want to lose fat. Is this what, what is the platform to, to lose fat? And, you know, the fat loss. And a little secret about fat loss is that when you are using your platforms in relaxation postures like these restorative poses, this will help reduce your cortisol levels. It relaxes your sympathetic system which takes us into that parasympathetic mode and that my friends helps with eliminating stress in the body and helps with fat loss in a very very healing way so don't discount that we can work really really hard on our platforms and that's great moving our energy and lymphatic fluid and those toxins around but coming into postures like this daily are going to be just as beneficial for your fat loss. Oh, I'd like to stay in this pose longer, but we've got to move on. So let's bring the knees together. 
Take your hands behind your head to lift your head and squeeze those elbows together. Stretch your neck. And slowly come over to one side and come up. Oh, I hope that was wonderful for you. That one felt really great for me. And we're going to move on. Um, we're going to go into bridge pose and legs up the wall. So we've got two more postures. And I know I wanted to only do 30 minutes here, but these do take a while. Oh, I, I'm looking at a comment. Oh, this feels so good. Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. Okay. Our next posture is bridge pose. And we've done these poses before in our, in our hip release classes. So this will be pretty pretty um, familiar for you. Um, I'm going to, even though I have my, my mat on my platform, I'm going to go ahead and put a blanket on, a, a towel on here. Because I think that just feels even a little bit softer. And um, the speed is still on one in oscillation. Keep it there. You maybe, you maybe you can go two. I think we go up to two. I have a few more minutes here. And this is how we're going to get into this posture in bridge pose. I'm going to actually take one of my pillows and I'm going to put it on the platform as well. You know, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to do two. I, I was practicing this and I kind of like two and I'll show you why. Take your yoga block. And, or your extra blanket. If you don't have a yoga block, you're going to use your extra blanket as a yoga block. You see that little roll I'm making? Actually, I'm not making a roll, I'm making it flat. So here's what's going to happen. Scoot your butt close. It's either with the yoga block, and I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm going to lift my hips and put my yoga block the length, not the width, but the length of my sacrum. It's, my waistband is not on the block. And I have the pillows there so I can let my knees kind of fall in. So that's going to help me. And I'm going to wiggle my shoulders. Now, if you don't have the yoga block, let me just show you. I'm going to take this blanket and I'm going to prop myself up. And I think I can go a little bit higher because this is bridge, so I'm going to double it. Yep. There we go. Oh, that feels actually better than the block. <laughs> but I, I do like yoga blocks. I do like the, the stability of yoga blocks. Okay, so you're getting your hips to feel nice and secure. You're letting your feet move. And I'm going to wiggle my arms. Tie up my hair here. And we're going to close our eyes. Taking a nice big breath in through the nose. And sigh out the mouth. So the difference we just found, we were in a back bend with our back over the platform. This is still a back bend. Our, our hips are higher than our heart. Before our heart was higher than our hips. So the blood flow comes more into the heart organs, the, the lungs, those organs, you know, the organs of respiration, the heart, the organ of circulation. So we can feel that energy from our feet, shins, knees, thighs, and hips coming all the way up our chakra line. And we'll be taking, doing some classes on that in the next couple of weeks. We can't wait to tell you about that. But we'll move that energy all the way up from the root chakra all the way up to the crown chakra laying here, breathing in and breathing out. You might even notice because of the movement that you're getting a little bit of hip action as well. And that should feel just as delicious. Now my platform shut off. So that's going to give me the signal. It's time to move out of here into our final pose. Now remember at least five, maybe 10 minutes in this posture will be perfect for you. That's all you need to come out of it. We'll come to the same thing the way we got in it. Press into your feet, lift your hips, remove your blanket or your block. Bring one knee to your chest and the other. And if you can take a little modified happy baby, flex your feet, knees go wide, and rock into your back side to side. And then roll yourself over and bring yourself up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Feeling good. So, 
keep it going, okay? We've got one more, and I'm going to tell you, this one, to be honest with you, is really best used on a Rublex, okay? Um, the waiver, the mini waiver is, I think, a little bit too small for this, but um, play around with it, okay? I'm going to show you, because I'm on a Rublex, this particular one. This is called Vripti Karana Legs Up the Wall. And I'm going to adjust my platform. I'm just going to shift it over a little bit so I can have it against a wall. I'm going to give you all some time with this as well, okay? So you have the platform pretty close. And now in this one, guys, with the Rumlux, we're going oscillation. I'm sorry, not oscillation, pulsation. I haven't done anything in pulsation, so... We're going to hit the pulsation. Let me, okay, 10 minutes there. I'm going to put it on a speed of, I'm going to put it on a speed of about seven or eight. I found that worked pretty good. Now, here's how we prop up on this have your yoga block or some pillows handy because your head is going to rest on there. Take your two pillows and put one on each side. Okay? And I think that's all we need. Can have the Actually, I think I'll put my blanket over the yoga box so my head's nice and soft. Okay, you ready for this? This is the bomb. Oh my gosh, when I started playing around with this one. Now, the, the legs up the wall, we're gonna sit on the platform. Excuse me, my back's going to be to you. This posture is going to be great for helping with anxiety. It's going to help with relieving tension, fatigue. It's going to be yummy on your lower back and um, calming the nervous system. I think I said that right, relieving tension. So you're going to roll down onto your side carefully. Put your feet up the wall. I hope your mom or your dad if you're, or you, if you're the mom or dad, don't mind it. Some people don't like their feet on the wall, so I put the um, a towel under their feet so that they're not worried about marring the wall. But we're going to get nice and comfy here. My head is not on the platform; it's on the yoga block. You see that? It's on the yoga block. But I put my like, I put my towel there to just prop it. So I'm going to show you my. There's my block. Reaching the arms up, I want my shoulders nice and relaxed, and then I take my arms out. Now, if you have tight hamstrings, this is fabulous because I can point, flex my feet, pull my toes to my knees, and stretch the back of my legs out while I just relax here in this posture called Vripti Karana, legs up the wall. And if you are feeling any fatigue, this will help to energize you. Oh, my voice is changing. <laughs> um, if you are feeling like you can't go to sleep, this is uh, does just the opposite. It will help to relax you, to, to help you sleep better. So this is a great, great pose to do at night. It will give your body what it needs, whether it's to relax you or maybe after dinner or after um you come home from work and you still have three or four hours to go doing chores or things around the house and you need a boost, get on the platform for 10 minutes in this posture and it will re-energize you. <sighs> wow, this is good. So with our legs up the wall, all the blood is going into our organs again of digestion, elimination, our reproductive organs. Our chest is open, so we've got circulation in the heart chakra. Releasing the back tension. Oh, my. This one you might fall asleep on. <laughs> so we'll take a few breaths here. Now, if the leg's up the wall is too much, you can always bend your knees and have your feet flat. That might reduce some of the tension in your lower back. I even will sometimes do a figure four stretch here to stretch my piriformis out. Those are just some options you could have, or you can put your legs in diamond shape. 
but just play around as long as you don't mind putting your feet on the wall. Isn't that great? Wow. So like I said, I haven't done this with the, the, my mini waiver, and I'm going to play around with this one a little bit to, to be able to do it. But with the Romlex Pro, you should be able to get most of your body on here. The butt to the shoulders. I'm about almost 5'7", so I, my torso is not super long, but... Okay, my friends, we're going to bring this posture to an end because I need to sign off. But hug your knees to your chest. Carefully roll to one side. Take your time coming off. Your head is the last thing to come up. Wow. How about that one? <laughs> I'm going to sit here on my platform while I just say my closing words to you. I want to thank you so much for taking this time out of your day to uh, come into this restorative practice for, with me. We increase relaxation for better sleep. We improve our well-being. Better mood for sure. Um, you jump, it's just getting really gentle on the body. So um, whatever platform you're using from Life Pro, again, it's awesome to use the energy of this platform to bring you into a state of equanimity, peace, and calmness. So my Life Pro yogis and yoginis, I want to thank you so, so very much for allowing me into your living rooms today. Have a beautiful, blessed day. If you have any comments, any questions, just go ahead and type it in the chat and I'll, I'll, I'll reply back as soon as I can. And for now, make it a safe, healthy, and happy day. Namaste.